Hey YouTube, it's Brie aka Smartista Beauty. So I'm coming at you today with a much needed video. Um, I really really wanted to talk about like my progress. It got really personal with you guys in my video about dealing with loss. I just wanted to show you guys kind of like how I'm taking the loss and like and how it's changed my entire life. Like I have completely switched around everything. Um, as of like January, I was dealing with the loss. Um, I got out of a really long-term serious relationship. So yeah, that was happening and then and also dealing with like my school job and everything just got a little challenging, you know? And I I wanted to mope, I wanted to like just uh, say forget everything, you know? But what I decided to do recently is just spring clean my life. So what I just decided to do is get started with my room and just my self-organization with like dates and deadlines and everything. So I want to share stuff with you guys and I think this is something super like important to do especially after like I just got through with midterms I was just so ready for a fresh start with everything so yeah I am excited so instead of a get ready with me video this is gonna be get organized with me so I hope you guys really enjoy this so thank you guys for watching and now it's time to get cleaning with me <laughs> It's Brie and the first thing I do when I'm cleaning is I make a list of everything I want to clean and then I clean it in order. I separate my clothes into three piles from each drawer to keep me organized and then I replace what I need to, do laundry on what I need to, and yeah, put other things in the right drawer. Also, it's definitely not a race. I like to just clean and focus on one thing at a time because when I try to clean my whole room all at once, it just becomes a mess. So focusing on my countertops and my desktops, I like to keep those really organized um, because they just, they save me so much time and energy that would be otherwise spent looking for things. And I do a thorough like wiping down and dusting of everything and then replace all the items. <laughs> I'll even repurpose old jars to store things like tea. And this is when you know it gets real when you break out your home cleaning clothes. Let's direct our attention to the linens. <laughs> Clean sheets and bedding are shown to aid in the quality of your sleep, so it's ideal to wash your sheets about twice a month, but even once a week would be better. Anyone who enjoys playing in makeup knows that feeling of, oh my gosh, where's this brush, where's this eyeshadow? It's just a mess and it takes you so much longer to get ready in the morning when your makeup station is disorganized. So it's important to keep it clean and also to keep your brushes clean. I clean my makeup brushes at least once a week depending on how much I've used makeup that week because I do not wear makeup every single day. But this is a system that I find works for me. I've also made this awesome um, DIY lipstick and makeup stand out of a spice rack I found at Walmart. And yeah, I'm just uh, organizing my LA Girl concealers. I love these with a passion. Another huge part of my life is keeping motivational notes and post-its on my wall along with to-do lists or anything that's important for my upcoming day. I just find it keeps me organized and also if you don't believe it then no one else will so you have to like preach it to yourself every single day and I leave notes on my mirror, on my wall, in my notebooks. Another thing that's huge for me is just creating atmosphere. I have this fireplace app on my iPad and it just adds a little nice quality to my room. Also, I'm really old fashioned and I have a very old fashioned alarm clock to go with it. Now let me tell you, this thing will have you up like where's the fire, thinking you're late for your high school science class, all of that, but it gets me up on time. And I'll usually set this with my phone as well so I'll have like some cool song playing and not just be like woken out of my sleep in a complete frenzy, but it's a great alarm. Me and Gcal aka Google Calendar have a very complicated relationship because it'll send notifications to my phone saying you have to be here in 10 minutes and I'll just look at it like oh crap. So one of my coworkers finally got me hip to the planner life and it has changed my life guys as far as organization. It's just nice to look at your day for tomorrow and completely see 
everything you have to do and just you know be like mentally prepared ahead of time for for your day and also to have like a month's notice for certain things and just see it right in front of you that pretty much sums up my first edition of get organized with me and it just has been such a refreshing thing to do and I just wanted to share this with you guys and it just allows me to be Brie, be me, and, and get stuff done. I feel like when my environment and space is clear, so is my mind. And yeah, it just allows me to attack my day. And I really want all my sabistas out there to be happy, healthy, successful, all of the above. Because that's what being a sabista is all about. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.